altitude record, distance record, escape the atmosphere. That's probably what we ought to try for next. We, in, in doing that, we will probably do these as well. Uh, speed record, probably do that in two. Uh, if, we can, if we can escape the atmosphere. If we do, we get a good bit of, we can even get a little science. Yeah. But orbiting Kerbin, that's maybe a little of a stretch for what we, what, the equipment that we have right now. Okay. believe. Now, uh, one of the rules in Kerbin is that the atmosphere ends at 70 kilometers, 70,000 uh, meters. And so that's the height that we're going to try to get above with the next rocket that we build. Okay. Now, that's a liquid fuel tank. So if we were to use a lot of those, then we could use the spark, I mean the reliant uh, fuel engine, the liquid engine. But um, I think we're going to start with I don't think we're going to use that. I think we're going to... Yeah. Okay. Now you can see that this is a bigger... A bigger, stronger engine than the flea. This is a point where I'm going to look up here at uh, Kerbal Engineer. These are the numbers that I was talking about that it gives to you. Um, this is the thrust at liftoff. This is the at, excuse me. This is the thrust. This this one number is the thrust at liftoff. After when this is the first engine, the first stage is about to burn out, it'll go to that thrust, and then the next one will go will start at that and then end with that thrust. That's a pretty powerful thrust. Um, this is the meters per second that uh, the first stage does. This second stage, stage, you know, first stage, second stage, the second stage will add that much, which the combined, that and that, will total this. And they'll each burn for 23.7 seconds. Okay, 23, 24. Hmm. That's, uh, that's a pretty good bit of thrust. Now this probably looks a little ungainly, and it's not really. Oh, by the way, you get rid of stuff by clicking it and clicking again over here. Uh, it just it, that way to get just to get rid of stuff that you don't want. Okay, so let's do a winglet. Only let's do it at. Um, Four might be enough, but I'm going to go with six. Okay. Now that's uh, almost three kilometers of, uh, of delta V. 2.919 meters per second. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, if it was four, if I had four meters, that is... Uh, the, uh, that would be enough to make orbit, uh, which we could probably do. I mean, I've done it with uh, solid boosters, uh, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it at this. I was thinking I was going to put side boosters on it, but I don't think it needs it. Okay, and uh, at, it'll be 1.8 at launch. Um, 1.8. That's that's on the low end of what I would like, but it's acceptable. Okay, so we're going to call this one 
Give it three eyes. First craft, three. <laughs> okay, save it. Check our staging. Make sure everything is going to pop off in the right order. Yeah, looks good. Okay, now we don't have um, a heat shield, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, we won't overheat on re-entry. Okay, let's go to launch. I was leaning to do a so uh, use liquid fuel engine, but uh, decided not to. Okay, we've already checked our staging, so throttle up, even though it's unnecessary, because every one of these engines is a solid engine, solid rocket engine rather than a liquid fueled engine. And we want to hit the number, I mean the letter key, uh, the letter T, as in uh, sweet tea, to get our um, uh, guidance turned on. Jebediah Kerman looks fine. Okay, so let's hit, let's hit the space bar. Now you notice that's a slower launch than last time. Here's our shadow. Smaller and smaller in the distance. And there's space base. Okay, our we're about to blow our fuel. Okay, and we're getting off course. Ah! Well, that's a that's a failure. <laughs> yeah. We're heading back to the ground. So, dump all the rockets, let them fly off into the sky. And we got no curb or jeopardy. So, this is a case where we want to revert revert to launch um, or we'll revert to vehicle assembly building because we need to fix the craft because it was not stable enough okay now that means that we have reset to where to our starting point now what, what should we do well the um, simplest thing to do is just to add some more fins now you'll notice that the first that it was not at the first stage. Mm -hmm. It was at the second stage. I don't know if those would be big enough. I think it might. It might do it. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, save it and launch. Okay, throttle up, hit the T. And hit space bar. There's our, end, or there's our shadow. This is the uh, nav, uh, nav ball. Oh. See, we're getting a little, a uh, little off course. Not as bad as last time, though. Mountains in the distance. You can begin to see the curvature of the planet at this altitude. We're at ten kilometers Oop, up, 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 up. Ah. even so we still made some science see the green lines We 
got to slow down below 200 miles per hour, or kilometers, 200 meters per second, excuse me, in order to blow, pop the chute. Okay. Otherwise, it'll tear the chute apart. And there's the space base again. Okay, our altitude's 300, so we'll speed it up a little bit. Speed up time by fourfold. Oh, and that's one of our boosters falling to the ground. It's uh, 15 kilometers away. And I've slowed time back down to normal speed. And that was the sound of it crashing. <sighs> but Jebediah is safe. Okay. Let's see. So. I'm going to accept this one. I could revert the flight. But I'm going to accept it because we picked up a little bit of science on it. And because Jebediah is okay. <laughs> Let's see how much science we pick. Oh, we got to recover our craft first. Let's see. Yes, there it is. Recover. Uh, oh, we only got point 0.1 science. Okay. So we only have 4.2, so we don't have enough science to pick up anything. Yeah. So apparently I need to redesign the rocket. And by the way, if you don't like redesigning and redesigning and redesigning, you're probably in the wrong game. <laughs> because uh, there's a lot of that goes on. Okay, so... Now for a new trick. Um, this is a part. It's a liquid-fueled engine. If you right-click on something, it'll tell you a little bit more about its fuel tank and how much fuel it's got in it. If, um, if you hold down the alt key if you're on a PC um, if you hold down the alt key it duplicates it without taking the original and if you're gonna need a lot of something you just hold down the alt key and you can keep making a lot of them this not only works for individual parts this trick also works on assemblies of parts so that if you, uh, you've you built something and you need a lot of them, say it's uh, some side boosters or uh, whatever kind of assembly, if you need a lot of them, well then you can make more of them simply by, again, holding down the Alt key and pressing uh, the left mouse key. Okay, now I made a bunch of these because... Oops, excuse me, let me zoom in a little bit. Because I'm going to join them together... more. Hold down the Alt key, click on it. Yeah, that's probably more than I need. Yeah, I'll take off these. Okay. Now, this is where I put on the Reliant engine. Now, I don't remember how much swivel the Reliant engine has. Does it swivel? Because if it can't swivel, we may be, we may have a little problem. The, uh, there's another engine that's the same size and shape, weighs a little bit more, but not much, um, and it has, it's called the swivel engine, <laughs> and it's, uh, I, it, of course, it swivels. I don't think this one, did, uh, what I'm talking about is they're, in real life, real rocket engines mostly, um, have a, a mounting that is hinged. It's, it's hinged, say they have a pair of hinges here, like, uh, 
like an axis, and here, so that it can uh, it can rotate side to side, this direction side to side, and it can rotate a little bit in this direction side to side. Not a lot, maybe two degrees, maybe four degrees, but by being able to point a little bit off center, it can steer. It can be used to steer the entire rocket. And it's the primary method of steering a big rocket. I mean every big rocket. I mean Saturn V's, the old Gemini, Mercury program, um, space shuttle, uh, its big engines could to, uh, gimbal. This is called gimbling. They're, uh, they, it said they're gimbled. I don't think this one's gimbled which means we may have a little trouble with the but we will use a big fin but not one <laughs> we're gonna need a bunch of them but I think four should be sufficient because these are pretty big fins okay and we're going to put on two these. This allows us to put um, boosters a solid rocket booster on each side. Since I still have it set for two, it's putting two of them on. But I have them, I've got them mounted wrong right now. They are, this, this cylinder of this, this cylinder is touching these cylinders. There is no ga air gap. If they, if I had it mounted correctly, there would be an air gap. And I have to have it mounted on that piece. There we go. Now there's a nice air gap. Um, in in Kerbal Space Program, if this is touching that, then the software believes that this is attached to that permanently, and so it would not separate. It would not. Um, the uh, the piece that I put in between them, this is called a radial decoupler, and it has an ejection force of 250. I don't know if that's uh, uh, newtons or whatever. But, uh, and let's see, this item is a little too high, so we want to lower it for two reasons. One, we would like the ejection force to be at the top so that it uh, causes it to, to tilt away the top first. Um, it's a safe rejection method. Uh, the other reason... Okay. Uh, the other reason is that it's uh, it's um, uh, let's see, it's more aerodynamic. But I'm not sure if I can explain what I mean that it's different from what I was I've already explained. Okay. Now we need to verify that it's not touching the fin right there, and it's not. So that's good. Okay. And let's see our staging. Check our staging. Okay, there's a flaw. That uh, this is set to go on after they go on. I want them to go on at the same time that they go on. And these need to let go later, not right, not right away at launch. This is the first thing that gets uh, that happens at launch. These three will light. All three of these engines will light. Then. After these burn out, which is pretty quick, after 23 seconds, 24, um, we're going to dump them. We're going to eject them using these. And then this will burn for quite a while, presumably. And then we're going to eject this part. Mm -hmm. We're going to eject the top portion. And then eventually we'll blow our, our parachute. 
and our total uh, at delta V is 3,172 meters per second. That's the total delta V of the entire rocket. Okay, now this may also flip. If this doesn't gimbal, and I don't think it does, um, this rocket may still flip on us uh, after we get to a big height, a good height. Okay, we're going to call it. Uh, let's see, four is actually uh, V. Yeah, okay, Roman numerals. Staging looks good. Okay, now this is a liquid fuel rocket, so we absolutely have to throttle up. Otherwise, it won't uh, it won't be firing at full speed. We would have had it firing at about half speed. Okay, and we hit the T key to start our SAS, and let's see. So I can see my. Uh, electric got a bit of waver now you can see how it's burning down uh oh it's tilting over well if it doesn't tilt more than that it should be fine because that'll give us some distance and one of our objectives oh we okay we get rid of them one of our objectives is to make it uh, a certain amount of distance. Although we can throttle the the engine down a bit. Yep, we've we've achieved the distance that we needed. We need to throttle down some more. Because we're <laughs> we're getting pretty hot. What's our speed? Where's our speed? We're at nine thousand. Yeah, I'm throttling down. Yeah, we're not leaving the atmosphere, but we're at 14,000. Oh, there's the mun. And we're at 14 kilometers up, so our height's good. Okay, but we're losing altitude at a, a pretty good clip, so I'm going to go to zero throttle. We're not losing much speed. I'm going to blow the, uh, lose the craft. We're at five kilometers. Four kilometers. Airspeed is, but yeah, okay, we're losing some airspeed now. Okay means I can blow the chute now. We're at 15, 13, 12. Okay, we're under 1,000. Crew report. That'll give us three and a half science. Materials study, 17, that's pretty good. Okay, 150. Okay, splash down. Yeah, it says mystery goo. Oh, pick up another four science. And let's see, make sure that we're right side up. Oh yeah. Claims we can do an EVA report. Nope. I've noticed that sometimes you get a false reading that you can do an EVA report. Okay. Jabba 
die. Okay, so we got some science, so we're going to go back to the space center. Okay, now right now we're at 4.2 on the science. Uh, let's see, we're so far away, I don't know that we can see us. And can we go to M? No. So we're going to have to, in order to do re recovery, we have to go... There we are. Oh yeah, that's the space base. <laughs> I don't know how far we are away. But it's a, it's a fur piece. Okay, so we select it. We could return to it and fly it, but of course it does, it's not going to fly, it's just going to float. And so we recover. Recover. Okay, we picked up 29 science on that failed mission. And picked up some funds. Recovered from parts, almost 4,000. Total reputation 72. We didn't pick up any reputation, and he got no XP gain on it. Okay. Okay. But we can get a little bit more stuff. So we got 29, so we can definitely get this. Does that give us a swivel engine? Yep, it sure does. Okay, excellent. So we now have the swivel engine. But uh, we can't get anything else out here. 45 is how much science we'll need for each item on this row. 45, 45, 45. Yep. Next time, we'll proceed from where we left off. Uh, and we should be able to <laughs> at least break atmosphere. And, uh, the goal for next time will be to, uh, to make it out of the atmosphere, that is above 70 kilometers. Um, after that, the primary goal will be... Uh, uh, suborbital, which technically getting out of the atmosphere is suborbital, um, and then orbital. That'll be the goal for next time. Break atmosphere and then work our way to making full orbit, making at least, you know, one full orbit. Uh, so, until next time, you know, have fun, and I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.